Have you ever wondered about the connection between Hindu scriptures and quantum physics? Allow me to pique your curiosity. Quantum physics, the branch of science that delves into the enigmatic realm of subatomic particles, is a world filled with peculiarities and paradoxes. It challenges our conventional understanding of reality with its core principles. Wave-particle duality, superposition, and entanglement. Now, imagine this. These complex scientific theories, mind-bending as they are, may not be as novel as we think. Picture ancient sages thousands of years ago contemplating the mysteries of existence. Their insights, recorded in the form of Hindu scriptures, are filled with metaphorical narratives that astonishingly resonate with our modern quantum theories. What if I told you that the mysteries of the quantum world were already explored in Hindu scriptures thousands of years ago? Prepare to dive into an intriguing exploration of science and spirituality. To understand the connection, we first need to break down the concept of quantum physics. It's like the spicy curry of the science world. Intriguing, complex, and a little bit mysterious. But don't worry, we'll take it one spoonful at a time. Let's start with quantum entanglement. Imagine you and a friend each have a pair of gloves, one left and one right. You both close your eyes and randomly pick one glove. Without looking at your own glove, you'll still know whether your friend has the left or the right. That's because the gloves are entangled, just like particles in the quantum world. No matter how far apart they are, the state of one instantly affects the state of the other. Next up, we have superposition. Picture a cat inside a box. Until you open that box, the cat is both alive and dead. You heard that right. Schrodinger's cat, a famous thought experiment, is in a superposition of states. In the quantum world, particles can be in multiple places at once until observed. It's like being at your favorite ice cream shop, simultaneously enjoying all the flavors until you make a choice. Lastly, let's talk about wave-particle duality. Imagine you're tossing a pebble into a pond. The pebble, like a particle, creates ripples, which behave like waves. In the quantum realm, Particles, such as light, can exhibit properties of both particles and waves. It's like being a spectator and a player in a cricket match at the same time. So, quantum physics isn't just about tiny particles in a lab. It's about the gloves, the cat, the ice cream, and the cricket match. It's about the fundamental nature of reality itself. Now that we have a basic understanding of quantum physics, let's dive into the world of Hindu scriptures. Hindu scriptures, specifically the Bhagavad Gita, contain teachings that align remarkably with quantum physics. Diving into the Bhagavad Gita, a 700-verse Hindu scripture, we unearth profound insights that reflect quantum principles. For instance, in chapter 2, verse 17, Krishna speaks of an imperishable, unseeable entity that pervades all living beings. He describes it as unchanging, eternal, and unmanifest. This aligns with the quantum concept of quantum superposition, where particles exist in multiple states simultaneously until observed. The Bhagavad Gita also introduces the concept of Maya, the illusion of the physical world. It suggests that what we perceive as reality is merely an illusion, a concept echoed in quantum physics as the observer effect. The observer effect postulates that the act of observing can change the state of a physical system, implying that our reality is subjective. Now let's consider the concept of Brahman in Hinduism. Brahman is often described as the ultimate reality or supreme cosmic power in the universe. It is infinite, formless, and beyond human comprehension. Doesn't this sound strikingly similar to the quantum field in physics? The quantum field too is an invisible, all-encompassing field that exists everywhere and gives birth to particles and forces. In chapter 8, verse 20 of the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna speaks of the unmanifest, an eternal reality that transcends the visible universe. This could be interpreted as an early understanding of the quantum realm, a layer of reality that exists beneath the physical world. In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna also talks about the interconnectedness of all beings, 
a concept that mirrors the quantum theory of entanglement, where particles can be instantly connected regardless of distance. Isn't it fascinating how these ancient texts seem to be speaking the language of modern physics? The teachings of Sri Krishna, a central figure in Hinduism, offer profound insights into the quantum world. Let's delve into the depths of Sri Krishna's wisdom, an iconic figure in Hinduism whose teachings have resonated through millennia. Krishna, in the Bhagavad Gita, shared his knowledge about the nature of reality, consciousness and the universe. And intriguingly, these ancient teachings find parallels in modern quantum theories. Krishna's discourse on the impermanence of matter, for instance, echoes the quantum principle of superposition, where a particle can exist in multiple states simultaneously until observed. He explains that just as we change worn-out clothes for new ones, the soul discards old bodies and assumes new ones. This idea mirrors the quantum concept of particles popping in and out of existence, suggesting that matter is not as fixed or permanent as we perceive. Furthermore, Krishna's teachings on the interconnectedness of all beings resonate with the quantum entanglement theory. He says that all beings are an integral part of him, just as quantum entanglement proposes that particles, once intertwined, remain connected, no matter the distance. This highlights the fundamental unity and interdependence of all existence, a concept that's as spiritual as it is scientific. Krishna also addresses the nature of consciousness, stating that it's the ultimate reality, the essence of being. This aligns with the observer effect in quantum physics, which suggests that the act of observing not only disturbs what is to be measured, but also brings it into being. Krishna's teachings propose a universe where consciousness is not a byproduct of matter, but the very fabric of reality itself. Sri Krishna's teachings, like quantum physics, challenge our conventional understanding of the world. They invite us to explore beyond the surface, to question our assumptions and to perceive a reality that's far more complex and interconnected than we could ever imagine. The convergence of ancient Hindu wisdom and modern science seems more than coincidental. As we've explored today, the parallels between quantum physics, a discipline of science that is still in its infancy, and the age-old Hindu scriptures are nothing short of astounding. We delved into the quantum conundrums presented in these ancient texts and discovered how they echo the very principles that modern physicists grapple with today. We journeyed through the basics of quantum physics, a realm of science that often defies our everyday logic, only to find that these same puzzling phenomena were hinted at in the wisdom of Sri Krishna. In the face-off between Sri Krishna and science, we found not a battle, but a surprising harmony. The profound insights from the Bhagavad Gita, the Upanishads and other Hindu scriptures seem to have anticipated the strange and counterintuitive world of quantum mechanics. Perhaps in the end, science and spirituality are just two sides of the same cosmic coin. What do you think?